Hi guys, my name is Nick and this is Nick Creation Channel. So you have a Tresor wallet and you have your Golden Bros NFT there. But unfortunately, we don't have the private key that we can import to our Cube account. So this is a solution on how you can send your Golden Bros NFT to your game. Alright guys, so first thing that you're gonna do is of course after you've completed the registration and installation of the game whether it is on mobile or computer so you, you will start the game all right so once you have started the game first it could be loading and here you will be logging in your account right so make sure you know your password so you can log in so there will be some prompt about the helpful tips where you can get some links and get some information but in my case of course we'll be going directly to our tutorial let's stop the screen and of course we'll be here so once we are here we just need to go to the font and then click the settings once you've clicked the settings go to the yep the account the real account tab and then here you'll be able to see a wallet connect so what you're gonna choose here instead of connecting your cube wallet you will select the wallet connection so for your information so from the guide of net marble so you will select this one the link wallet address all right and once you've selected that just paste the wallet address from your metamask wallet the one that you got from trezor and once you've done that you will just wait for a few minutes and it will be in connecting status and once it is in connecting status you have to go to the cube store and what you need to do here is to of course connect your wallet in my case this is my wallet so going back to the home page so it looks like this the market.cube.store and then you connect your wallet so the wallet where your golden bros nft is located and then you click view my nft and then you will see your golden bros nft in my case before i can only see sent to game but it is disabled so i don't have option to do that but after some discovery so you can just go back here and then you can click the game connect so while you're trying to connect from your mobile game or pc game to your wallet so you will see it here so you just need to click connect and once you've clicked that so your metamask wallet will pop out so this is your treasure wallet so you have to connect to that wallet and once connected you will see this confirmation that there will be a button if you want to disconnect so once you've done that you can go back to your nft click this and then you can send to game and when you click that you have to approve that through your metamask wallet which is in this case the hardware wallet right and then once it is approved so i'm not sure if we can see the activities here yep so you can see some of the activities here that happened from the market cube store actually before i was trying to send it through the tofu nft.com but I'm having some issues as well and this is what I'm telling earlier so we cannot import the hardware wallet because when we go to the account details you won't see the private key option here unlike if you go to a non-hardware wallet so for example here you go to the account details you can see the private key that you can export and then import to your wallet alright so once you have approved this process so in my case this is the hardware wallet that i have then you will go back to your game and then you will see that the wallet is already connected and you go back to your account you will receive an email so here in your email so you will just need to claim this right so this is my first time to do that i've waited for this video so of course in my case let's assume that the nft costume is on brain Louie now so this is brain Louie, right so i can click him 
and then see if there are here cost new costume so here it is so we can see here the premium costume for him so we will be able to use this in our like i hope i can live stream this game and i'll be able to equip this to brain Nui, right so i can do that now and then i'll be able to use that later i hope we have covered all of the steps and if you feel like i've missed any steps here just feel free to ask questions from the comment section as simple as that you'll be able to send your nft to the game all right guys so thanks for watching and that's it see you on my next video bye bye